Good day everybody and welcome to the VarBSD channel. Today I am going to be responding to a few comments and um, IMs I got in IRC about how I got my terminal to look so pretty in the previous episodes. Um, so without further ado, I've spun up a VM image which is a basic FreeBSD, I'm not even sure what version this is. Uh, ver version 12, okay, we're working with version 12. So I've spun up a basic version 12. Um, there's no Z shell or any other pretty bits on this whatsoever. And I will, um, I will, um, Jesus Christ. Um, I will be um, converting this into a nice and eye pleasing Z shell installation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, swap to root, as is always the case. And I can't see my keyboard because of the microphone. There we go. Um, and we are going to be editing login.conf, which is um, basically how the defaults for all the shells and different parts of your system um, are defined, basically the uh, system environmental variables. Now, the two things that you actually need in here to actually get UTF-8 so that you can actually get some nice fonts and things are car set, like so, and you want UTF-8. I really can't see my keyboard. I should be able to touch type, but <laughs> oops. <laughs> like so and you also want lang now lang for me is um n g b yep english gb that's the right one utf8-8 colon backslash that's the one. Oh, no backslash on the last record so yes the two records i've added are simply these two here um obviously for the lang you'd want to add your own so it'd be n u s by default or you know, whatever, I'm sure there's um, whatever you use for your normal dot .profile, you know, DE or whatever. But anyway, after you've actually done that, you want to um, basically recompile or reinitialize your uh, database. Why do I... Well, I say reinitialize your database. I actually don't know what this command does, but I know that it makes login.conf a real thing. So you do cap mkdb, etc login.conf, like this. And now all the defaults on your system, especially for the users that haven't set a dot .profile, because dot .profile overrides login.conf, will be using UTF-8. Now, the way to check this is to pop up another uh, terminal over to your system, which I'm gonna do right here, which keeps jumping onto my other monitor, which is incredibly unhelpful. There we go and plonk her across like this. And now this system, when I type local, will show that I'm using UTF-8. That is the right-hand side terminal, which is the one over, um, wait, now on, reverse cameras, that way. Or the one that my uh, thumbnail stuck over, uh, which means that you can use the uh, pretty characters in Z shell and the rest of the uh, different power line fonts as well. Now, to actually install Z shell, all you do is you swap back to your root terminal, root terminal and pack install Z shell and git. And you need git because oh my Z shell de depends on it. So yes, we'll pull that. Let's have a quick swag. Yeah. Very strong coke in this area. <laughs> Wait for FreeBSD to do its thing while it's pulling those packages. Um, Git will automatically pull in curl, which is actually quite handy because if you go to the Oh My Z Shell installer page, it will actually say, you know, you need to actually use curl or wget to install this, which is fine. I've actually got that page here. It looks like this. If you just type Oh My Z Shell into Google, it will be the first hit. So, yes, we want to proceed with installation. And I actually forgot that it actually takes a while to do this. I should have actually um, pre-prepped this download, but you know. <laughs> oh, Pearl as well. Uh, this is really is a base, base FreeBSD 12 system. Um, because you've actually edited login.conf, it will um, affect your um, TTYs as in your real terminals as well. So even if you don't use secure shell to access your system, this, uh, this um, configuration will actually come into effect anyhow. <sighs> Oh, come on, hurry up. Oh, and then it's got to extract everything. Brilliant. 
Anyhow, the themes that I was using in my previous YouTube videos were AF Magic and Dark Blood. And in just a moment, I will show you how you actually enable those. So here we go. Um, there's Git, Z Shell, and all the rest of it installed. All you have to do from your terminal in FreeBSD is type the command that was given to you on the website, like so. And it'll pull down oh my Z Shell and the rest of it and ask you, ask you for your password. And there you go, oh my Z Shell with a pretty little uh, kick and a tilde. Now, I promised how I'd um, get the prompt that I had in the last video. And to do that, all you have to do is edit tilde forward slash dot oh my Z Shell. And it's the config file in here, which I should really have remembered, but I didn't. And that's the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Ah, there we go. Zetchel RC. I've been using Linux too much. I keep uh, defaulting to Nano. And you see at the top, you've got ZSHL, ZSH underscore theme, uh, Robbie Russell. <coughs> and if you simply set this to AF Magic, like so, then I think there is actually a reload command. Nope. Refresh. No. Nope. Oh, sorry. I'll just go straight into it. ZSHL. And there we go. That is the exact theme that I was using on one of my system, on one of the YouTube videos at least. And for the other one, all you need is to go back into your ZLRC and edit here and go, and I'm doing this purely by memory, which is a bad sign. And there we go. Okay, that wasn't the right command. There we go. <laughs> and there is the um, Double Buffered UTF-8 pretty font. Uh, one thing I would point out at this point, one thing I would, is that if you're using Putty to access your systems, uh, what you actually want to do is, in your font, um, you're actually best using um, a Droid Sans Mono for Powerline or at least a mono UTF-8 font, because some of these actual characters that are displayed may not actually be visible. Um, this actually applies to your local TTY, as I said earlier. So, yes, that's how you do a pretty Z-Shell UTF-8 terminal in FreeBSD. Um, sorry for all the trip-ups in this. I kind of did it at a last-minute spur, so I didn't have much chance to actually uh, research it first. Um, but cheers, FreeBSD.